Hi, here's a Monday thought starter just for you. I just got access to the Spotify ad platform that lets me run 30 and 60 second commercials on Spotify starting at $250 a month. I can pick the market or several markets, pick music genres and demographics, and then just start running my ad. Now I already run YouTube pre-roll and true view ads, Google ads, Facebook and Instagram ads, story ads, you get the idea. I'm actually certified to do a bunch of these things and some of them are so new you can barely find training on them. Now, of course, you could do all of that yourself, 100% self-serve right now. You can actually design your own business cards, write your own marketing plan or business plan and do your own tax returns. The question is, how good is the do-it-yourself movement for your business? It's easy to get overwhelmed in business even if we're not trying to do it all ourselves. I could technically do my own oil change and service my own brakes. But do I really want to see how well I did when I'm going 150 miles an hour on the freeway? Most people feel comfortable baking a cake at their house, but uh, would you volunteer to bake a wedding cake for 200? No, because it's too important for you to f mess it up. As a business owner, you have a choice. Do you want to know enough about it to do it well enough yourself or automate it via AI or perhaps sub it out? For example, I have a client where I outsource the communication part to a virtual receptionist company that will chat with potential clients on the web or Facebook or text and then we implemented a CRM solution that automates some of the outreach to potential leads to nurture them into becoming clients. Now we also run a ton of Zapier apps to communicate between several helper apps. And then lastly, there are some things that we do in-house because they have capable staff to handle those things. Now, what is important enough in your business that you can't screw it up? What's so important that you wanna learn about it to do it yourself? Who is watching the things that you're outsourcing so you don't get screwed? That's really the question that you should answer ASAP. When I onboard new clients, we make a list of things that we need to outsource that are, or that are currently being outsourced and need to be supervised. Stuff like SEO, Google Ads, or traditional marketing, for example. Then the things that can be handled by automation that will give you a bunch of extra time and your staff a bunch of extra time. Zapier and funnels come to mind. And then are the things that you want to do in-house and you have to think about which one of those your staff needs training on. Now you'll see it's all worth it in savings in your own time. And that's your Monday Thought Starter. I hope you'll share this with somebody that is ready to stop the overwhelm and get some extra time in business. I'm Tobias Wilhelm and I will talk to you Thursday.